Please welcome Father Desmond Tutu. <laughs> Of course. Yeah. It's, it's an honor to have you here and to see you uh, here in Norway again. Uh, Thank how, you very much. How are you? Uh, do you want the long or the short <laughs> answer? <laughs> you can decide. Yeah. No, no, I'm fine. And I'm even more fine whenever I come to Norway because it's a kind of second home for us. Uh, <laughs> The people have been so wonderful in supporting our struggle against apartheid, and now we are free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you've just opened the worldwide, uh, worldwide exhibition Hands That Shape Humanity in Oslo City Hall, where 25 uh, famous men and women uh, yeah. have given their contribution. What was the idea behind this project? Well, it's a fairly straightforward one. It's a message that you want to, to give to people, that each one of us is a very special person, VSP. Every one of us, whether you are tall, like Norwegians, <laughs> or you're short, like me, <laughs> whether you are beautiful or ugly, whether you are rich or poor, each one of us is special. And I, I, told, I was telling them that a few years ago, we were with some young people in Bali, and one of them said, what must you do to get a Nobel Peace Prize? I said, ah, simple. <laughs> Three things. You must have an easy name. <laughs> Tutu, tutu. <laughs> <laughs> and you must <laughs> and you must have a big nose, you know, like my nose. And then I was I was wearing shorts on that occasion. I said, and you must have sexy legs. <laughs> <laughs> but he just says, anyone, anyone, if I could be a Nobel Peace Laureate. Ah, then it means anybody, everybody can become a peace laureate. Yeah. Uh, I'm, not so, uh, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, I think you're very... Uh... <laughs> no, 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 it's true. It's yeah. true. That he, I mean, we may not all do spectacular things, but there are very many incredible things that have been done in the world. You know, we, we hear about the bad things, and that is right, too to hear about the bad things in Kenya, in the Middle East, in Burma, you know. But there are also some incredible, just think Bono, Bob Geldof. They, they, don't need, they don't need to be doing the things that they're doing, but they're spending a lot of their time working to end poverty, mm -hmm. to end injustice. And these young people here, I hope, I mean, we'll be inspired uh, to do the same. I mean, and that is part of what we're saying in this, the hands that shape humanity. Yeah, but because you're also part of this exhibition, and everyone has uh, been asked the same question. Yeah. If there's only one th wisdom uh, you could leave behind for humanity, what would it be? And then, what did you answer then? I said, amongst other things, an enemy is a friend waiting to be made. That it is possible for people who were enemies to become friends. And we have shown it in South Africa, uh, where you have reconciliation instead of revenge. But the other thing that I said is, reach for the stars. Reach for the stars. Hey, grab. You are made not just for ordinary things. 
know that the sky is the limit. Each one of us needs the, that challenge. Mm. Uh, and and that, was, that is one of the things that I was trying to say. Excuse me for speaking Norwegian for a while. I just tell people about the exhibition. Uh, til dig som lurer, så er utstillingen åpen sju dager i uka i Oslo, uh, Rådhus, og har gratis inngang, og Freskorpset har også laget et uh, eget undervisningsopplegg for videregående skoler i forbindelse med utstillingen. Uh, you won the Nobel Peace Prize in 1984. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, why do you... You, why, why are you making me look at you when there are so many beautiful people there? <laughs> you are so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I won't look. <laughs> yes. Um.